So let's see what result we can get. Hello guys, my name is Doak and I feel kinda, kinda rusty. Fortunately, not because of my physical condition. It's because of the spray paint that we are testing today. Right here in the beautiful uh, mini tunnel. You know, there is the big tunnel. We are in the mini tunnel today. It kinda stinks over here because of that little swamp. But this is the only place that has a sort of roof which protects us. I'm talking about me and Snow, my dog, who's resting a little bit further from the wall so he doesn't need to breathe the fumes. Right, buddy? Here is his water. He's gonna be dirty as hell, but whatever. Yeah, we are painting over here because this is, there is a nice shade and painting on a sun would be a suicide. But let's get to the point. Rusty spray paint. This is a, as far as I know, a brand new product by Montana Cans. Montana Rust Effect Spray. I asked Montana for six of these cans and I was kind of confused when I got them because they sent me 12. Then I realized that there are two shades of Montana Rust, orange brown and brown. So we have a lighter and darker color. Just the cans itself look really interesting, really nice. But for sure we wanna see what they do. I've never tried it before, all the cans are brand new. So let's try, I guess. Montana Rust Effect Spray Paint for the illusion of rust and oxidation. Apply rust effect brown and brown orange on top of each other for a more organic appearance. Okay, so you should apply them on each other. That kind of makes sense. Okay, let's try it. Some of you might remember that I've been already attempting to paint rust, but not with a rust effect spray paint. I tried to do it with a classic spray paint and it was a pain in the ass. So I'm curious if this is gonna help. Let's see. Ooh. Okay, I didn't expect a fat cap. So uh, the first impression is that this is just an orange color. But frankly, rust sometimes looks like an orange color. <laughs> I want to wait until it's dry. Anyways, I've seen a video about these by Montana and these effect spray paints, uh, they are not really created for, you know, graffiti pieces. It's more of a DIY thing when you have, I don't know, an old clock and you want to make it vintage, you want to make it rusty. That's the main purpose of these effect spray paints, but I think that it's gonna work for us as well. Okay, so it's pretty dry and the color has a little bit different structure than a classic spray paint, but otherwise you can't really say that this is rust. Let's try the darker one, the brown one. Okay, once again, no big surprise here. It just looks as a brown spray paint. But let's see what happens when we actually do what they tell us and we apply them on each other. I'll start with a darker one. I mean, when you compare this with the rust from Google, it's pretty similar. For sure the display is brighter, but... One minute, 37 seconds later. Okay, 
I have all the answers. So this is already completely dry. I also applied a completely classic spray paint next to it to see the comparison. And you probably can't see this, but the rusty spray paint really feel, it feels like metal, like a rusty metal, even when you touch it. This feels a lot smoother. But also to me, it is a little bit disappointing. You know, I kind of expected that I will be so impressed. So I tried something else. I took a completely random piece of trash and I applied these two to the trash. And this is the result. When I touch it, it truly feels like a rusty metal. And the main thing is that it looks like it. So this effect spray paint works better on a smaller surfaces. This is a truly amazing result. At the end, this is the main reason why people will buy this. But we have a graffiti piece to paint, big one. So let's see what result we can get. That was not epic at all. Let's paint. Oh, mosquito attack. Whoa, what the hell is this? There is some big ass wasp-like fly. She apparently... <laughs> Snow is a very good guarding dog. No, you are a lovely boy, but you're also gonna be a dirty boy. I could bring him a towel, sure, but he wouldn't lay on it anyways. He likes cool ground. All right, look, in the meantime, I even created myself a little rusty bucket. You would say that it's made of metal, but it's plastic. Oh, let's make the fill. First can down. Second can down. Another one. another one look i found some real life rusty references and now we can do a little comparison speaking of colors and values the rusty effect is very very realistic it's almost you know these are almost the same values the only big difference that i see is the fact that real rusty metal is damaged and it has a rusty texture which we can't really see on a plastic bucket but with a little bit of imagination for example with uh, with a leaf uh -huh. you can achieve a very realistic results okay time to apply the lighter color All right, so the combination of these two, when I'm looking into my camera, looks dope. It really looks like rust. Okay, let's help it with some details. This is transparent black. Thank you. 
Alrighty guys, I've been playing with some details for the past hour, but right now it's finished and it's time to say if you should buy the Montana Rust Effect spray paint. It's actually pretty easy. If you want to achieve a rusty effect in your graffiti piece, well, you're gonna see the final result, but the short answer is yes, get this spray paint. But to be honest, you can achieve similar effect with classic Montana cans as well. On the other hand, if you want to achieve a rusty effect on something small, such as a small bucket or whatever, basically, I highly recommend this product. I'm actually thinking about creating something rusty, like a clock or what about a rusty car? No, 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 no. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, thumb up would be awesome as always. Don't forget to check out my shop, doco.com. If you wanna check Montana cans, there is a link in the description below. It's always there because they are a sponsor of this channel. But yeah, hey, let me know if you like the final piece. This is it. Final shots of a piece made of rusty metal sheets. So the question is, did this spray paint help me to create a rusty effect? Definitely. You see it. It looks like rust. I a little bit regret that I didn't take a little bit brighter orange with me to add some orange details. But we wanted to see rusty effect and I think that we see it. So enjoy. Yeah. Auf Wiedersehen.